Hello everyone. Good evening. Namaste. So today we are doing this spiral art session here and I am using a 6 inch by 6 inch square sheet as usual. I hope you all are all set with your paper and probably you all must have drawn the border by now, right? So let's start. Hopefully our internet helps us. We changed the connection. Last session we couldn't do it. We took a new connection and hopefully that works well. And today uh, my son Aditya is helping me in the background. Hey Aditya. Hello everyone. He is helping me in the chat today. Thank you Eddie. This is our beginning of the spiral and now we have to div divide our this page into equal three sections. So we are going to draw two horizontal line at the one third or one third distance. If you want you can use ruler, if you want you can draw freehand the way I am drawing. this kind of two and as I always say it's absolutely okay if it's not absolutely same and little big or small it's fine now I'm finding the center of the top and the bottom and I'm joining these two bottom line from the top we are making a triangle And this top line to the bottom so that's how we got a six pointed star so basically we drew two triangles and we made a six pointed star but we are not done now now we will join these to the corners on all four sides I'm very excited for this string. I think it will look pretty. And now just one more thing is the double drawing inside this hexagon shape. That is the center of the star. Is the double lining. Ta-da! This is our string. Now I'm waiting for you guys to catch up. And I'm putting my this thick pen here. And I will use now this Micron 08 pen for the spirals. Please complete the spiral and let me know when you guys are done drawing seems like my okay awesome thank you Diksha thank you for letting me know and now it's the time to start the spirals avatars you know internet is working so bad i barely like some i don't know we we are using the new internet the new connection and it's still it's like very glitchy so we don't want to take risk because when we put start avatar it takes too much like uh, the data thingy maybe and it stuck something like that so we couldn't use that okay now it's the time to start our spirals we'll first start from this top left corner and 
we will start from this top corner and we will go clockwise we'll start with the slanted one slanted line alongside with the slanted line like this Okay, Adishri, I'm waiting. Take your time. So what we did, we drew two triangles and like this big triangle and we help of the two triangles, we made a six pointed star and then we joined these corners, all four corners to the corners and then the double line in the center hexagonal shape. That's what the string is. And now we have started making our spirals. We just completed the one spiral in that top left corner. We started from the top left corner and we started alongside with the diagonal line and the clockwise. Thank you Ananya. Now we'll start again with this uh, top left corner alongside with the slanted line and we'll go anti-clockwise. Thank you Adishri, Netra for your feedback. Guys, don't forget to submit your artwork after the session, okay? This is Spiral Art 1. You can submit either in the art corner or in the Google shared folder for the Spiral Art or maybe both places. Thank you Ananya. You all can write either one or two based on your uh, either you are working with me or you are just enjoying watching me drawing. So if you are drawing along with me write down one and if you are just watching write down two. Now we are not working in this triangle we'll work on this triangle later that's a twist. Now we'll work in these two corners. So we'll start from the corner and we'll go clockwise. Awesome. Thank you, Nicole. I also like the video. Which video you are talking, Ananya? Thank you for whatever you are liking. I am not sure. 
Thank you, AP Piano. And this one again will start from the top corner, top right corner, and will go um, clockwise. I like when we keep drawing uh, and we don't pick up our pen in between and we keep drawing keep making spirals all these slanted beautiful lines until we reach to the core of the shape how about you guys do you like when you do like that the stream okay thank you thank you Ananya so now you see we are done with these two corners and now I'm twisting my paper all the way upside down and we are going to do absolutely on the other side so that it looks very symmetrical on the all four corners and then we'll start working in the these center parts. So first we'll start from this top left corner again and we'll start with the top left corner alongside with the slanted line and we'll go clockwise. start again with this top left corner I'm sorry and then alongside with this diagonal line and we'll go anti-clockwise <laughs> now we'll work in these two right top corner exactly the same way in this top left in this left corner we'll go anti-clockwise and this one will go clockwise so first this one anti-clockwise sure most of you will put a lot of colors a lot of your own elements at the end I would love to see how it's how you are putting your own elements and giving it a new dimension now I'm doing the clockwise okay hmm. Aditya is the uh, focus is okay yes thank you
awesome isn't it looking pretty this is looking so nice now we'll work in these first left and the right section one and for this left section we'll start from this inner point here and we'll go uh, clock it will go anti-clockwise and now we'll do this big one the big no first we'll do this small one again from this inner side and we'll go clockwise please let me know if you guys want me to wait or if you want to ask where to start or which direction because it has a lot of uh, blocks so but direction is really important in this one okay Now we'll start from this center point and we'll go anti-clockwise. Try to draw your line as close as possible and retain the shape. The part we have finished right now looks like a twisty hourglass. Yes, absolutely. It's looking like that. <clears throat> now we'll work in this section. We'll start from this top point and we will go anti-clockwise. I love your imagination, Sananya. Which side did you do now? So in this one, I started from the center, this oh, point okay. where I'm keeping my uh, pen diksha and I go anti-clockwise. From this which, from this uh, center point to the anti-clockwise. And now in this bottom one, again, we are starting from the center point and we will go again anti-clockwise awesome additionary beautiful now in the center one we will again start from the center and we'll go clockwise here and now it's the time to do in this center one first and then we'll do in these two triangles so in this one we'll start from this top left corner and we'll go clockwise you can keep moving your paper If you feel like if you want you can just stay at one place and you can keep drawing this is absolutely your choice how you want to draw and you are comfortable with when I was very young I used to use ruler always to draw the spiral art that time I was not drawing in the small one actually we used to draw on the big paper so big lines and 
that time like I have that thing in my mind to draw absolutely straight line lines so like I remember I have used ruler a lot in spiral arts in my school time but then very soon I left it and then I started drawing freehand and fun with the freehand drawing is awesome but if you really want very neat and straight lines there is no harm in using ruler it's it's just personal preference as I always say there are no rules for these kind of artwork whatever your heart desires whatever you want to do you are allowed to do you are eligible to do it's your own original artwork this is just a fun relaxing artwork and when i do this kind of artwork i feel like i did meditation and i get that enjoyment and it gives me really awesome feeling I hope you all are also feeling nice trying this right Most of the participants see the videos later and then they draw and then submit that is also absolutely okay because everyone has their own time everyone cannot be free at every single time but the streaming is always at the same time so whoever wants to join can join at the same time I really love drawing the spiral in this shape you see these little beautiful curves they look so pretty so now it's the time for the twist and for the twist we are going to draw in these two the same kind of spiral we have done sp that spiral one more time in the square that is just the spiral that goes in like kind of the actual circular spiral which we draw we are drawing in the triangular shape we are starting from this bottom left corner and we are going uh, clockwise but we are not touching any border now we'll stop here we will stop here we will not touch any line and we keep making a spiral in a triangular shape that's it I'm keeping it this way so that I can keep my hand on the paper and I can avoid keeping my hand on the work it and absolutely the same way we are going to do in this bottom one I just turn it around so that it would be easier for me to draw here and again we are going to start from this uh, top left corner and we'll start towards the diagonal side the bottom side I hope you guys are seeing me properly is it stuck for you guys is the screen is it stucking or you guys are seeing me uh, properly like it's going fluid please write down in the chat how is this streaming going on for you guys is it stuck or is it going well
it's all good thank you netra thank you for your feedback because like screen is perfect thank you adishri because the another screen where i'm seeing my video it's all stuck here but but the chat is going on uh, properly like i can see when you are writing netra and adishri but the video what i'm seeing i'm just stuck at one point and it's not moving so that's why i wanted to make sure that is it going well for you guys or not now we have two internet connections at home and we keep trying and switching one over the other so that we get good connection and good speed for these streamings but still we haven't decided which one to keep and how to which one is working fine because sometimes one is stuck sometimes other is stuck and we are done drawing and now it's the main part of the artwork is the shading and i'm using here graphite pencil you can use any kind of graphite pencil whatever you guys have as i always say and i'm first giving these corners dark here little dark here little dark here and little dark here so that's how we can enhance these corners as well as I'm giving little shading in these curves in the hexagon shape inside just to give it a little bit more value here lay down the graphite try not to use the tip try to lay down the graphite just with the side of the pencil and that's it now I'm using this q-tip if you have any used q-tip you can use any used q-tip otherwise you can use any fresh q-tip and you can keep it don't throw it away <sighs> Manula thank you thank you Manula You can do these scumbling kind of strokes little small round or maybe little small back and forth both are fine I love doing scumbling in these kind of shading they work very well and they are very like quick and they spread the graphite very well uh, dark to light beautifully and this is the last one and then this soft blending in the triangle and now the last part guys what is the last part you know that and now the last part the last part is you know it sign date and praise that is the most important part of any kind of artwork whenever you guys are doing and you are finishing so I'm signing it my initials and yes Adishri and what is today's date guys today's date is August 11 8 11 20 and now it's time to praise our artwork and this is such a beautiful abstract artwork good job Nithi Prakash you did awesome now it's your time guys speak aloud your name and say some good words to yourself and to your artwork and you spend beautiful half an hour in this creativity i've missed drawing with you why you are missing drawing nicole we are joining we are you can see me every sunday every tuesday every thursday i'm available for everybody and we are doing zen doodling and these 
and every friday we are doing uh, dot art every saturday we are doing mandala art and we are doing acrylic art also two sessions in august and i have showed already and you can see in the upcoming sessions what we are doing okay so that's all good night guys enjoy see you on thursday same time and we'll do a new